Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another video with the Hockey Coach Guru, Coach Frenchy for the Hockey Nation Live Show. Today, we talk about uh, the Montreal Canadian because he signed the prospect at the 21 years old Emil Enemant for a uh, three years uh, ELC. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to give you everything you need to know about Emil Enemant. But before we start, you know the drill. You've been here before. First, subscribe. Second, sharing. Third, likes. Finally, four, comments. Tell me what you think about Emil Eneman, the prospect for the Montreal Canadian. Let's dive in right here. Talking about him, like I mentioned, he signed a three years contract, ELC. This contract will start only in 2022 20, and 23 season in NHL. Uh, First of all, it was a 43 overall pick in the draft initial 2020 uh, second round by the Florida Panthers. Uh, he's a 21 years old, 6'1", 185 pounds, uh, uh, play left winger, and he shoot from the left side. And 38 games this season in the Sweden Hockey League professional. He have 11 goals, 5 assists, 18 points. He uh, battled with some injuries. The last one was a concussion. Two days after he got traded uh, or got by the Montreal Canadiens. 81 game professionally with the Sweden Hockey League. He has 18 goals, 11 assists, 29 points. And he played for the team called the Leg San IF and the Sweden, the, the country of Sweden. One thing you need to know, he was um, born in exactly at the same location, Leg San and then he's only played there. He never played for any other team outside of the. He grew there. He played for the youth travel over there. He played AAA Junior G20 uh, Team Sweden, and then also for only in the SHL that that uh, town. Uh, really unique on his case. Never played in the NHL yet. He, he already got trade twice. Well, yes, he was involved first of all. The trade from the Florida with the Calgary Flame uh, for Sam Bennett. He was now involved with Tyler to fully trade from Calgary to the Montreal Canadian a couple of weeks ago. So uh, it's pretty unique to see that. Like I mentioned, he signed a contract at three years with the Montreal Canadian. And also, um, the great news we heard, he's going to report for the Laval Rocket for the end of the season. So he's going to be with them. Uh, pretty, pretty sure it's during the playoffs. So can't wait to see Emil. Uh, with with the with the Laval Rocket in American Hockey League, uh, what is great about him? Uh, you go to see at the end of this video. Uh, uh, at the end of this video, a video of Emil Eneman, by the way, a great fluid skater. He have a great skate. He skate well. He need to get a little bit more powerful. I'm going to talk about this when he need to improve the next couple of seconds. Uh, a quick release shot. You go to see have a great shot. Accuracy is great um, and is quick. Um, is very powerful, by the way. Uh, he can play two ways. One thing is great about him, the coach loves it. Um, he said the comment about the fact like he, he knows what to do on all three zones, on the neutral zone, on offensive zone, and on defensive zone. He's a great uh, sense of the awareness what's going on with and without the puck. Uh, not afraid of the traffic, what you talk about. He's not scared to go in front of the net. So um, I love, I love, I like those kind of players. And to be honest with you, so he's a guy going the traffic, and that's great to hear that. Good IQ and good vision. So what my point was said earlier, he's a good play two ways. He anticipates a lot. He can read the play with without the puck, and he can see everything what's going on around him. So great awareness with that part of there. He, what we heard is a little bit a bottom six in NHL, a little bit of style looking in. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this one, uh, that comment. What you need to improve, uh, more explosive, what we heard from some scouting report, uh, most for his second stride and uh, con uh, continuing with his third stride. So you need to get, uh, 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 we call this like bang, 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 quicker, quick, 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 right? Move your feet quick. So, um. Then the second thing he said, more creativity. He's a player playing north south. Never, he's not a guy play you know east west. So the left to the right, he's good on one versus one. But he's more the kind of players go more uh, north south. So you need to get that kind of creativity 
uh, if you want to reach a higher level in hockey. And at the highest pace, uh, what we heard from friend scouting uh, when he started playing junior and then go uh, on the Sweden Hockey Pro League professional, he have a difficult time to adapt out the pace of the game. So it's something he need to uh, be sure he's going to work on it when he's going to be with a Laval Rocket. If he wants to play in the shell, he need to adapt quicker, better, faster. Maturity on base. What are you talking about? Uh, between you and me, uh, is a kid never been outside of where he was born in, in the leg, Santa, and Sweden. Home. So maybe he's protected by the mom, by the dad, if you turn that. So he's going to be, he need to learn to be, uh, you know, maturity, more responsible, uh, more accountable, uh, learning to, you know, to survive by himself, honestly. He has always been an, at home. So it's a, something you need to adapt, new language, new culture, new city, new country, and all the kind of stuff you need to adapt also on the off eyes. So it would be interesting to see that. Also, I think what we heard, one more comment, I didn't put this, he need to increase a little bit more his, uh, his muscle mass to get more physicality during, uh, during this game. Now, I'm going to give you backwards, like we talk about, back on the future. The year it was um, going to be drafted in 2020, so it's almost like two years ago. Uh, play for the Super Elite. Uh, it was already a 6-1. He's born in November 16, 2001, so it was a late a uh, late born, and he played, of course, in um, Sweden. Uh, this is the report when he got, got when he got drafted. You can see all those information: shooting, accuracy, hitting, and teamwork. Everything on that. They are usually from uh, one to twenty. The 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 report of those. So we have to learn about this. You can take a time to pause the video and learning more about this uh, kind of report about Emil uh, Eniman. This is the report when he got going to be drafted again he played 29 game uh yeah 26 goals 15 assists and 41 points this one played on the g uh, the j uh 20 uh during that time you get a couple of comments on people why you think about him on the super elite uh, for email uh Inman. finally here's what my expectation for him and in, in the future now could be wrong this is a small prediction we need to see him a little bit more before we give him that exactly but what we hear for what I heard from the scouting uh, department, for his friend uh, and expert, what I know, first of all, he's going to play for the for the Laval Rocket for the rest of the year. I really believe he's going to return next season, full year, in the American Hockey League for the Laval Rocket. I now would be surprised if he play in the NHL who have a little bit more uh, longevity to stay in the NHL in the season 2023-2024. So we talk about... 18 to 24 months for him to be maybe an NHL. What we expect also is going to be a little bit more a player can play on the bottom six in NHL. A uh, specific, more like a player like Arturi Likonen just got traded from Montreal to Colorado, where is a two way player. Uh, he can score 10 to 15 goals per season, about 30 points per year, uh, but great sense of hockey uh, on both ways, on, an, on the three zone. And a great uh, special player uh, for the special team as a, on the Sean and Dirt on PK. So that's what we expect uh, for Emil uh, Eneman. Here we go. This is concluded, guys. Another uh, video of the Hockey Nation Show with the Hockey Coach Guru Cole Frenchy. Today was all about Emil Eneman. Please, before we leave, I would love you to hear your comments about him. And tell me what you think. And finally, of course, uh, click on the likes. And sharing this video with your friend, we need more subscribers for the YouTube channel, Hockey Nation I Show. We wish you an amazing, great day. I look forward for the next video with the Hockey Coach Guru, Code Frenchie. <music>